Hey guys, it's Misty. So I'm just doing a little video to kind of give you guys a little bit of a breakdown on how to take care slash maintain your hair in this pom-pom style specifically. So when you receive your wig, you have basically your pom-pom in the front, pom-pom in the back, a couple layer tiers all throughout. Um, it will come in a hairnet, um, but the hairnet is basically going to be protecting just kind of the sides, not really the pom-pom because it will warp this, the shape of the sphere. It'll kind of like crush it down. Um, but we do want to keep these nice and tight in so they're not flying all over the place while it's shipping. Um, but sometimes, depending on how long it takes to ship or depending on the temperature or things like that or just the nature of how it's sitting in the box, um, there can be a little bit of warping right on the ends of the wig. Um, it, it basically is just like a little curve, which is okay, and some people don't mind that. But if you want it to look exactly how it looked before it shipped out, what I would recommend is to get a blow dryer in the direction of the hair. So we have the hair starting here, flowing this way. So you wanna start up here with your blow dryer. Don't, try not to hit the, the top of the pom pom, but just right here. Uh, it's okay if you hit it, it really won't mess up the, the style, but um, you wanna hit it here and then you wanna basically use your comb or your fingers to kind of just make the hair go a little straighter. You could use a straightener as well. I would recommend it on super low heat, but due to the, just basically the fiber, I would use a blow dryer. It's the best way to go about it. Um, but yeah, so basically, just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a heads up on that. Also, um, when you're all done and ready to put your wig away, back on your mannequin head, um, what you wanna do is you wanna grab that hairnet again and just kind of protect it around here. This goes for any style, not just the pom-pom style. I always recommend to put a hairnet over your wigs um, if you're not wearing them. Just helps to preserve the style, especially with curls. It helps to keep them nice and springy. Um, sometimes if you don't leave your hairnet and I mean, your wig in a hairnet, um, the curls will fall or like, um, it'll just like have like an, uh, an uneven um, side to it. So I definitely always recommend using a hairnet. Um, specifically also for this style. Uh, but yeah, just a little heads up on how to take care and maintain your wig style. Uh, but yeah, hope that was helpful.